Okay, we're back with Tesla Autopilot 2019. Wait, 2019.12.1.2. All right, are we on navigate. There we go. We are heading towards the DC Beltway Navigator on Autopilot. Let's see if we can improve. Last time we did this, if you check the playlist, whoa, we almost crashed into a crash attenuator. Tesla Autopilot almost ran me right into the crash attenuator. That's, that's the title of that video. Tesla Autopilot almost rams me into a crash attenuator. Okay, this lane ends. Are we gonna signal? No, They're just, we're just going for it apparently, no signal. Not very friendly, but I guess it works. And there's nobody there. So I guess we're okay. Now this lane we have to get out of because this lane ends. And there should be a lane change signal at some point. All right, there we go, signaling. Nobody's there, so we're good. Now let's see what the system does here. In the past, it's switched over to the other lane, the fast lane, and then it's tried to get onto the express. We're on the um, local lanes. It's tried to get onto the express lanes, and this is where it's giving us trouble, getting close to those, that crash attenuator. That's weird. It gets over there, now it goes back. It like can't make up its mind. Now, it didn't go back. All right. I wonder if it's learning. It's the same software version where we almost went into the crash attenuator last time. Same software. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, it's going back again. Just can't make up its mind. Oh, nope, it's not going back. This is, this is messed up. What do you think of this? Let me know in the comments there. This is just messed up. Why would it do that? All right. Now, there is the express lanes merging onto the local lanes where we are. And coming up here, it's going to be an opportunity to get on the express lanes. Every single time so far, it's tried, it's signaled, but it's not made the lane change at this first opportunity. Let's see what we do. It's not even, wait, it is going to try to signal, see? But it's not going to go for it. It turns solid, it does not go for it. There's a crash attenuator. Ooh. Okay. Now, the second one. Most times, it's it's signaled and moved over and made it. Last time it didn't make it. It almost put me into the crash attenuator. Let's see what happens this time. And I don't know if we were during we were at the day in daytime last time. Let's see what it does. Okay, we're signaling. We're going for it. We're going for it. All right, the crash attenuator is smashed. Oh gosh, somebody went into that. Good thing it wasn't me. Now we gotta get over. Are we gonna signal and be polite? No. Yes, there's a signal. All right, I think it's like a first, isn't it? I think it's the first time we've ever had a signal on an ending lane like that. Well, it's actually signaling to get over another lane. Whoa, oh my gosh, that truck just barely moved out of the lane. This is pretty, that was a pretty aggressive change. What do you think? That was a really aggressive change. I and mean, that truck was in the middle of its lane change and I guess Autopilot was watching it. And no, it, I guess it, it just figured it knows it's going over there so it went over. All right, let's bump up the speed a little bit. There's some motorcycles. Are those shown on the screen? I don't know if I saw them. Now, I'm not sure what speed we were at in the past when we were doing this. I don't know if it was 55 or 60. That might make a difference. All right, we're heading under Montrose Road right now on 270. And we're way over. We've never been this far over. 
We've always been in that right lane when we've got on the express lanes, not this um, second one over. So we're gonna have to make a couple of changes here before, we, or at least one lane change before we get on the 270 spur to the beltway. So we're heading to the beltway. This is a regular loop or regular test environment that we do. Okay, here we go. We're going under. Wait, that was Falls Road back there. This is Montrose Road. Going under Montrose Road. And we're gonna have to start make, making that lane change. Looks like traffic will be light tonight. Coming lane change, here we go. We've got someone on the right side over there. Well, they're not quite in our lane. Okay, making the change. That's where we need to be. And this lane has the option of going left or right here so it'll have to choose the right direction which it always has never had any issues on on uh, that in this test track that we're doing yeah if you want to see where I almost went into the crash time waiter just look at the last video on this playlist too it's there all right no signal, there was no signal, but we are heading the right direction and it's giving it a signal for another lane change. It's gonna go for it. I could just fall asleep. So peaceful. Don't get too close. Uh oh. Emergency vehicle. It's like a broken down Jeep. Definitely not the most reliable vehicles. So I guess we're gonna hang in this lane until after we go under River, Ro River Road. And then it'll make the it'll have to make two lane changes, which it typically does.
Actually, I guess we're only going to make one lane change here. But remember, that actually is, once I get into the next lane over, the challenge is we get to another point where there's a fork in the road. And up to this point, this software version, even the newest version, we, one we have now, has not been able to make that last move over. Because we have to get over on the fork in order to get off on the exit we're supposed to get off. And so far, it has not been able to do it. So as you can see, this is a pretty challenging course, even without traffic. All right, we've got moving up. Oh, that's a pretty aggressive move. We did it. But that's what we like to do, have courses that are challenges. So even without traffic, this is a challenge. With traffic, it's even more of a challenge. We are on the Beltway now. Car carrier, is that a Tesla, that white one down there? Can't tell. All right, here's the American Legion Bridge crossing over into Virginia. This is where we have not made it. Right up here when this, when this local lane comes in, we've got to get over to the local lane, otherwise we'll miss the exit. And it knows we're getting off this exit. And is it gonna do it? No. No, see, we, we need to get over there. Now we're heading the correct way, but it just it just didn't do it. Didn't even try. Oh, it sure is accelerating through here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, this person's signaling. Oh, let's see. What's autopilot going to do? They are signaling. Well, autopilot's going to get a little, a little aggressive there. All right. Let me know your thoughts on all this. And it's just right lane closed up there. At some point, it's got to get this one right. I would think. All right. Now it's got. we got to move over at least one lane to get off at the exit. And it's knowing to do that. See, it knows all this, but it just doesn't get in the local lane here. I don't know what's up with that. And uh, she's gonna move us over two lanes, right? Yeah. All right, that's good. All right, well, that's it. Be sure to give me your comments, like, share, and subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and also the bell for notifications. We will see you in the next video.